Thapar, my testimony, the Great Commission Conference class, your first time in Nepal. I am going to share the testimony. In this class, I learn many things about the God creations. According to Genesis 1, 1, God created heaven and earth, everything by his mouth. God is almighty, nothing impossible in God. Genesis 2, 7, God created man by the dust of ground and gave the breath of life. Then God gives authority to control everything. Genesis 1, 28, blessed, blessed them. Asis dino bhai, bhai. But Genesis 3, 1 to 6, man falling into sin. Then God and man separated. Uh, Genesis 1, 15, God planned to save man. John 14, Jesus came in this earth in place to save man. Lamb of God, same Lamb of God. Jesus sacrificed his life for our sin and resurrected from the dead and dwells in me. Main thing we have to receive Jesus' life and Jesus' power. I understand cross RD. It is very important point. I understand real gospel in this class. This is my work. I understand God is love. He loved so much and He gives us to a chance to repentance. We have to obey in God and God work. We have to obey. And I learn about the Holy Spirit also. The Holy Spirit also said Trinity God. Holy Spirit lead us, guide us. Without Holy Spirit we cannot do and we cannot understand. We have to preach the gospel. It is my work with Holy Spirit. John 1, 16, John, John 15, 16, God chosen me. The great commission is my, the great commission is very important. I have to change my family through Great Commission, my place, my nation, all over the world. Thank you. Uh, from this Great Commission conference, I learned in first class about God. God is the Lord of all creation in heaven and on the earth. And the God created this world and in its creatures in seven days. Simply, we can understand that first day God created the sky, second day created expanse, and third day God created earth, land. And fourth day God fulfilled all these. Fourth day sun, moon, stars, fifth day God uh, created living creatures in water, and sixth day God created livestock, animals, and men. God created all things from nothing. And from this creation, I know that God is Almighty and who knows everything and nothing is impossible with God. Everything belongs and depends on God. Besides God, there is no other. God exists by Himself. God is Spirit, Love and Holy. And God is eternal, who does not change. God is infinite and forever, and God has our two characters, that is justice and love. In second class, I learned about man. Man was also created by God in his image and likeness. Man is composed of spirit, soul, and body. After man created, God put man in Eden Garden and gave covenant to man between God and man. 
but man disobeyed uh, God's covenant and fall in sin. That's why man become a sinner. And man has a fundamental problems that is caught of relationship from God, fallen into sin and bound by Satan for this problem. Jesus came to save his people from their sin. And what they learn about Jesus? Jesus is the Son of God. He came to save this world and solve the sin problems and is only Savior to save us from, save me from my sin and He redeemed me from my sin. From His precious blood on the cross brings compromise and Jesus became a true priest, true prophet and true king for my life. And in fourth class I learned the evidence that Jesus is the Son of God who created everything by prophecy and fulfillment of prophecy. Jesus would be born as descendant of Abraham, born by virgin body. Jesus resurrected and all prophecy is fulfillment. That's why Jesus is Son of God is proved. And today I learn about uh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is very necessary and Jesus has also Holy Spirit. So we have Holy Spirit so we can do all Jesus commanded for us and another tongues Commission conference, uh, which is uh, organized by our uh, our Father God also, and also our uh, uh, Dr. John and Man, and uh, God spoke in your house. Uh, I have learned so much clearly now. Before uh, I did many con I, I did many uh, training about the theology, MD, BTS. But this conference taught me more uh, with the real gospel. And about the God, God is the creator of all things, heaven and earth. He controls our, all our history, birth and death. And He is the sovereign God. About God, I learned. He is also the intelligent God. And uh, He created first sky, sea, earth, and filled with it by uh, sun, moon, stars, and sea creatures animals and men on earth. God is spirit and I have also a spirit. Angels are also a spirit and God is my father. I learned from this conference. God is my father and I am his children. Angels are my servant. And so uh, God has also uh, knowledge, emotion and will. I have also <laughs> same character and God is love and God is also justice. God shifting uh, the sin, my sin, into Jesus uh, because He loves me. He judged the sin problem, allowing Jesus died on the cross, taking my sin and my all problem, solve all my problem. I have learned from the, from the beginning about the God. And man, God made man in His own image, according to the Bible, Genesis 2, 7, He put His life, He put His spirit. And man became a uh, man became uh, living being. Uh, he has God's life, God's spirit. A man has three three uh, three uh, component: spirit, soul, and body. Uh, what I've learned that uh, when man has a God's spirit, soul is controlled by spirit, and body is controlled by soul. And soul is reasoning and thinking part. And uh, God gave the authority to human being and power to rule over all the creation of this world and God made also the covenant with the man not to eat uh, from the tree of knowledge and uh, knowledge of good and evil when you eat you will surely die but Satan deceived man and man disobeyed God's commandment as a result three fundamental problem came into this world that is Man became the, uh, separate from God, Genesis 3, 1 to 6. A man became, uh, man became fallen to sin, Ro Romans 3, 23. And man became born by Satan, John, uh, the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. 
And all the problems came in man's life, the death problem, sickness problem, unhappiness problem, poorness problem, and all suffering pro problem. And man became the dust of ground. God causes man. And I have learned that the dust of ground also, uh, the dust of ground is the Satan food. And man, man became, uh, after the man's sin, after uh, Satan spirit uh, entered the, in, uh, uh, into the man's life, man became the child of Satan. There are, uh, there are three, I, I learned that I, there are three that remain. The judgment, God's judgment, body and uh, spirit separate first, and uh, another one is no God's spirit. Another death is, death, spiritual death. Another uh, death is, judgment is, uh, the spirit and uh, body combined, uh, taken to, fallen into lake of fire. And this is the reality of man. So I have learned very much clearly about this, and I am convinced uh, about this truth. I need to share this, this, th this uh, things, uh, God's love and God's life to all my people. And to, to, to teach them about this very truth. And what about Jesus? I have learned uh, God became man in, in the bodily form. Jesus Christ, the Son of Living God, paid the blood price for my sins, which is, which is the sacrifice of atonement, and died on the cross to solve all my sin problem. And He rejected, he rejected uh, uh, from the uh, grave for my righteousness. According to the Romans 4.25, Jesus solved three fundamental problems. Uh, he solved first problem, uh, got a relationship from God as a real prophet, John 14.6. And he solved the uh, uh, sin problem as a real priest, Hebrew 9.11 to 14, John 1.29. And he solved uh, the Satan, bound by Satan, as a real king, first John 3.8. So Jesus became the Christ. And Christ restored me like original man. Wherever uh, I believe, cross RD, I, rec I receive him as a son of God in my house. I will become, I, I, I am uh, becoming the child of God. John 1, 12. And, uh, and also the meaning of Jesus, I learned that uh, Jesus' meaning is save his people from, his de from their sin. Jesus born from the Holy Spirit, and we should born from the Word and the Holy Spirit. I should born uh, to be the child of God. And Jesus will come again to take his people and judge the world. In his second coming, he will, uh, uh, I will resurrect it like Jesus' glorious body. I have Jesus' life, Jesus' power, I have Holy Spirit in my life. Uh, when Jesus appeared in my life, I should, uh, in my lifetime, I should not die, but according to the uh, John 11, 25, 26, I should not die, I transform and caught up to heaven. And uh, after die, when I die and uh, Jesus again coming, then I will be like, a, uh, I will be resurrected like the Jesus body. And this is the, this is the truth I have learned and the, uh, about the Holy Spirit. We must receive the Holy Spirit baptism in order to receive the power to be witness to the world, to, uh, to uh, overcome the world with the evangelism and to make disciples. And these things I learned very much clearly and I will teach my people to my disciples and to plant the church more and more. Amen. Hello, I'm Jamesy. I'm Thomas Bogarty. I'm going to tell my witness after I attended a great commission conference held from August 8 to 10. 2022. First of all, I would like to thank Duncan Full Gospel Church and teachers for giving your wonderful time and committing your time for teaching us about the significance of Matthew 28, 18 to 20, where it says, Then Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples to all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded to you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Up until now, having learned about God, man, Jesus, has been a great honor and privilege. Many lights were shed on God, man, Jesus, and Holy Spirit from Bible, and I received even some revelation while lessons were going on. I learned that God was the creator of man, but man committed sin and broke relationship with God, 
dying in the spirit and being destined to hell. Yet God had a plan and sent Jesus as a man to save humans from second death and hell. As I was learning, I saw the sequence of the full gospel. What is needed to share the full gospel is what I fixed my attention on. Many people just speak about Jesus can do uh, for, their, uh, for, uh, for, for them while sharing the good news, but they forget the story of Garden of Eden and events after that which led to the crucifixion of Jesus. Usually people tend to forget about God and man while sharing the gospel and they focus on only what Jesus can do for their life if they believe. Usually people are told to attend church but not disciples and taught well. But Jesus said, make them disciples and teach besides the baptism and other important aspects. These days people are made to come to church and not even disciples but only baptized and taught. So I have decided to what Jesus had said before departing to heaven in clouds. I am going to evangelize, teach, disciple, baptize and finally release the call once for the sake of the kingdom of God. Growing in faith is very essential instead of just coming to church and going back to home and working place. I have decided to be committed to full gospel of Christ. Thank you. And I have learned so many things from this class. And first of all, I would like to thank to my God who gave me this opportunity opportunity and to become the part of this uh, first the great commission conference in nepal hallelujah and secondly i would like to thank to my uh, to uh, uh, Dun dangton full gospel church that they really made such a uh, such kind of compact biblical teaching and i really thankful to our respected john sir and madam and uh, and I have learned so many things from this, uh, the Great Commission Conference, R.S. Fellows. Uh, I know more about God and His nature and all. Uh, I'm going to uh, tell my testimony very simple and short, short and simple. And secondly, I learn more about man and His compounds and all. Third. I knew more about Jesus Christ and his blood, sacrifice, love and all. And fourth, I knew more about Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit and his speaking in tongues. And fifth, I knew how to maintain time and follow the time. And I blessed worship and prayer time and with tasty food and number seven and I blessed all uh, classes which uh, um, our madam taught us and her testimony is really taught my heart I so encourage I got an encouragement uh, through her uh, testimony and uh, Number eight, the Great Commission Conference is very, very important for every believer that I knew when I, when I attend this conference. So number nine, our teacher madam taught us so nicely. I so blessed and I, I believe that our uh, team B also blessed. Yes. And number 10, I'm so excited for the next, the Great Commission Conference in Nepal. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and I also thank you this uh, great commission conference and for this class and I, I also want to thank you our short and man and for this training I learned many things uh, I learned uh, from the Bible no from Genesis to Revelations, and who has God, and uh, God created man, uh, and on his own image, in his body, soul, and spirit, and um, man disobeyed the God covenant, and Satan entered into the body, and controlled our body. Then Jesus Christ came on the earth and crucifixion on the cross for our sin to give salvation and i also understand the three fundamental problems 
He solved three fundamental problems. He is a true prophet, true priest, and true king. And Jesus is a God come on earth to connect with, God, connect with us to God. And also the uh, cross RDS, resurrection, and he dwell among us and second coming. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Kudam Shrestha from Antioch Fellowship Church. After attending this seminar, I feel blessed because before I did not know many major and minor things. And God is the creator who created all things from nothing. God created me in his own image and likeness. So I am the child of God. He is in me. No need to search him anywhere. If he is in me, how and why I am suffering from many problems because of the fundamental problems. And I knew the solution, how I overcome from this problem, through Jesus Christ. He is the true, pro true prophet, true priest, and the true king. God wants me to know him correctly and clearly, so sat uh, Satan cannot deceive me. Uh, as the scripture says, Isaiah 43.1, I have called you by name, you are mine. If I know this, believe, know this and believe this, I must know who am I, why God made me, and what is my purpose. So, <laughs> Jesus is the Christ, He is the Son of God, He is the Word who became man and come on earth to save me from my sin. As the scripture says, <coughs> Romans 3 train, none <coughs> is righteous, no. Not why, but God presented him as a, uh, as a sacrifice of atonement, Romans 3.25, through faith in his blood. So I must to believe him, receive him, and keep him inside me, and unite it with Jesus and enjoy Jesus' life. After that, I can share the gospel and make the disciple. I encourage from this conference, do I really believe Jesus? And do I uh, really obey his commandment? Yes, I believe. Jesus is the Christ who took all my sin and died on the cross, who resurrected from the dead and dwelled in me, who has all the authorities, who gave me the great commission, Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. I must obey him. Jesus is coming soon. Thank you. Amen.